Good morning. Yesterday I accidentally broke my camera tripod, the big tripod which I used to hold my camera because this one is very flimsy. It's a good tripod but it's just good for the phone but for the camera because it's quite heavy. I'm just wondering, does the universe not understand that this is a small budget channel? So I had to replace it. Based on the reviews, I went with the, this one from Newer. It's a pretty common pretty common brand for camera accessories, lighting and stuff like that. So, and I had to upgrade so I want to open it and see if it will if it will last better than the other one because that was just not fair. And that is on vertical shots, baby. Look at that. You can actually take a video from the top. I like that. And the tripod is very sturdy. I think for this extension to be safe, I need to expand, like open up the base a little bit more so that the center of gravity is lower. But hey, we have a tripod. One major problem I had with the previous tripod is that it was always so short. And I think I may have gone overboard because this tripod is literally taller than me. Hello, I just finished getting ready because I'm stepping out for the evening. Uh, we're going to meet some friends of ours. Just good times and vibes, I guess. Otherwise, yeah, Sally is going to have a rough evening because we're just going to abandon him. Salvan. 
cut is so tiny. My goodness, see the size of my hand. <laughs> it's such a small cut. He can actually fit in one hand. are born blind and deaf, but they can immediately smell their way to mom. This letter has 10 pups, and every single one is unique. Different from any other dog. Each puppy's personality is just as different as their nose print. Look at my paint tubes. This is the paint I've been using. <laughs> Everything, like all the colors that are staple colors are all done for. I think that's why I've not been painting a lot recently because I was forcing issues with those tubes. Anyway, I'm so excited because this just landed finally. A fresh set with fresh tubes that have not been rolled. At least I can get excited about painting today. I'm about to bust out a fresh canvas and just go ham on this colors. The color variety is really nice. And this brand in particular, this brand Monte Mart, like it's a good quality brand for beginners. Of course, it's not particularly the best, but it works. But first, before I get sucked into that because once I sit down, nothing can distract me. We're gonna go make some tuna wraps, tuna egg wrap, low carb style. So that's about to be pretty interesting. For this wraps, I'm bringing back the high protein bread. This is the keto friendly high protein bread. Someone left a comment in the last video that it looks like it tastes like sand. And honestly, it doesn't. It just tastes like bread, but without the sugar. That's also this bread is gluten free. It doesn't it doesn't have the softness of like normal bread. Gluten is the main protein that usually makes like bread and uh, dough. That usually makes dough or items that are made with wheat stretchy. That's why the dough is able to like be manipulated. Gluten free because first of all, gluten has no useful nutrients to your diet. It doesn't have that stretchiness. So they have to like lay it out and then cut it into the shape. That's why this bread is square instead of round like regular bread because you can't roll it out so they have to cut it into the individual pieces i'm gonna need two by the way going gluten free doesn't necessarily guarantee a healthy diet but gluten is linked to causing inflammation stuff like that that's why sometimes when you eat a lot of breads and pastas you feel bloated and i don't want none of that and also you know the carb count so this one is good for people who are on low carb diet and keto diet as well i have chopped up some tomatoes cucumbers bell peppers and onions so i'm going to be using boiled eggs and i have some tuna in olive oil and then i'm going to be using some cream cheese salt pepper and a little bit of kewpie mayo
these are the times I wish I could have an egg slicer. This is messy. So, eggs are in. Now for the tuna. little bit of salt black pepper then cream cheese That's what it looks like. Let me do a test test to see if it has enough salt. So this goes onto the bread. I like wrapping the bread in parchment paper because I don't want the insides to spill out. It's going to make it easier to eat. So I'm just going to fold it into a piece of parchment paper. The parchment paper makes it easier to eat without getting too messy. But those are my tuna wraps or rather tuna sandwich because this is a bread. It's just that it's wrapped around. Mm. Yeah, it's delicious <laughs> with my sandpaper bread. <laughs>